this was recorded today is February 16th 2020 and I'm like this on a window just to give you a little something nice to see here from this hostel where I am I sit like this on the window no I'm not gonna throw out or anything like this I just want to make like something pleasant for you to see why I give you a complete complete breakdown about this employment this employment it's like this I have made absolutely zero mistake to absolutely everything I have stated the only thing that I have to state and you will hear a recording which will be related to two things uh, one of the things owner manager if you want would not even want to hear about anymore uh, and that was so-called burglary which I mentioned the year however was not 2013 the year was 2010 when I was brought at night at this location in the evening at this location and in fact I was gestured I'm not gonna say that it was exactly the same picture uh, I should say pictures this is something I'm not gonna say uh, I will only say that I was told I believe was the very same person that I am not doing anything about uh, the whole thing that they are trying to help me out and this and that what is going on with me and so on I have to make myself a little more comfortable uh, and that I don't even have uh, a child which kind of really hurt my feelings badly because this is really what I wanted to have a lot in my lifetime um, I was urged to start doing videos and stuff online talk about this anti-ultra case um, pointing out a picture by this gentleman if it was not even in 2008 that for one thing, he's got a child, and I don't. This is what really hurt me a little bit, because it was true. In the US, I was blacklisted completely job-wise. And female-wise, too, I would say. Because I did have females interested, and it just nothing ever went through. Nothing ever happened, anything. Everything was falling apart, basically. On what I was thought it was a burglary, that they burglarized the place, and this and that, and it was a confusion. Americans were still on the picture. This old psychologist American of Irish descent insisted it was Russians that broke inside, that it was a burglary, that they got them on a camera and this and that and tra la 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 and this kind of schizophrenia bullshit, excuse me, relates exactly to the situation I have faced throughout the city's gears. When I was told by the Zgirsh police that they caught from video cameras that they managed to record Russians subjecting me to the torture in front of the business owners that uh, you know confusing me about dates and stuff like that mm, I would say almost 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 identical then this burglary became less and less and less desired and nobody burglary never happened it just changed like this according to scenario but it's interesting that the picture still stayed inside of the office of the manager and this is a picture I was extremely interested for many many reasons it is the picture that explains a lot of other issues which go all the way to the deep state in other words 
they traced into security of the pollen. This is what one of my main concerns because up to date in Poland if you get hurt you don't even know who hurt you. You see this is the country that spans between east between the Russia and between the west. West side you have Germany and they brought Americans here and they let them loose. You got British, you got Americans, and they let them loose. And you also have Ukrainian people for whom many times you don't even know whom you're dealing with. Whether you're do dealing with individual who is from Ukraine, it might be a Russian or it might be a real Ukrainian. This is a mess like no other, this place. And so because of this kind of mess, a teacher in Grotniki. This is a lady, the teacher of Polish language, who, according to her, alone started to work sometimes there. I, she suggested like 2008, something like this, like really late, or I don't know, 2010 or something, but I remember her involved in NKL way earlier. In fact, she took Perhaps if you want to say this, my side, and my side always was interpreted by the Russians to the Poles as the side of Stefan Bandera, because they wanted to terrorize Polish people with me. They wanted to turn pretty much everybody against me. This is just true. So for the Polish people, uh, according to the KGB, I was Stefan Bandera. For the Ukrainian people, I was an evil Nazi that wants to exterminate them. For the Russian people, however, when I was in the Russia, they have completely other plans for me. So I was no good, I was bad for everybody, and according to the Russian, and again, I don't like using that word Russian because this really is a Putin, Vladimir Putin, so that's why Kremlin is going to listen to this, they should listen to this. He went as far as insisting on my becoming a terrorist in the Mideast. Um, tried to associate me with North Korea, um, Libya. These are his points. North Korea, Libya, Afghanistan. Something like this for what... He gestured I would fight against America because of what is happening to me in America and would even be supported by the Russia in doing this kind of stuff. This is a real Vladimir Putin. This is how far your dealings with Vladimir Putin took me. And I'm talking right now to this Norwegian king and Swedish king and British Buckingham Palace and Germans and Americans and everybody else. This is how far this shit took me. This is not even funny, this stuff. And what happened here in Poland in respect to the war for Kasia? What happened here in Poland in respect to the war for Kasia is that a gentleman whom audio recordings you already have heard, I have identified the business owner of the business in Polish, you say bijuteria, like small things for the clothing and stuff like that, clothing accessories. Uh, hair accessories and all that kind of stuff. He's got a business company, his own uh, building. Two of his children were destroyed and might have been, I had no idea before those were even born. This is how far back I date with my MK Ultra case. I knew this business people. He was also one of the first business people, just like the owner of this electro shop already way, way, way back. This is what Americans were interested, basically, were businesses expanding through businesses. And this is how they pretty much expand. They go down the street and they look for who is more or less open to their dealings, which, of course, lead into the sideways, into the side streets. Uh, eventually, these owners owe them favors. They have to pay them back. So, And so, two of his children became, I think, maybe you want to say this, autistic children or something like this. But I know that it's not difficult to know that all his children 
he also took my side. The teacher in Grotniki developed, since knowing me, some kind of disease that was, she already deemed it's going to be over with her. And I know her already since 2004, maybe something like this. Teacher of Polish language in Grotniki Immigration Center. And really, Ruskis got her, and I know so because it was the Germans actually that saved her. Because it was the Germans they smashed the table and they gave Russians the ultimatum stop, or it's gonna be otherwise, or we're gonna get you out of this negotiation table, you're not gonna even come close to it. And this is basically what got Pauls into some sort of patron, German patron mood maybe, it didn't get me though, because I know the whole truth, that led into a little uh, extreme, extreme sides. The gentleman with the copy shop, with the fax shop, took my side, sooner than not he found himself diagnosed with a Parkinson's disease, became disabled completely. Russians got him. They really did. They, they got the girl from Grotniki. They got the gentleman here, the owner. Putin did. They would, dis they would destroy people like you would not believe. Rape and turning people into disabled, crippled people. This was the beginning of this stuff. This is the truth and nothing else but true. And the girl in the same office from the gentleman who identified Chris, to whom he suggested it's from Chicago. He falsely identified him. I don't believe this is the same person he, we are talking about here. Of course, he saw him within me. I remember him and girl, I can tell you these are old, old co-workers. She became, I have no idea what happened to her. What kind of, is it Parkinson, what it is? She, can, she also is suffering from other uh, issues from other health related issues but i believe she's not a russian case i believe she is actually the case of the polish state it's very difficult to determine where it is the russians they do something to you okay so around me yeah it's like tremendously a lot of people disabled people Like, you would not believe what happened over the years here in Poland. And if I would not meet people, I would not believe my own eyes. And I have just stated right now just a few of them. There's a whole bunch of other people. I remember every one of you. Polish state figured out that if I go to Kaczynski, this was a rape. This started with a rape. Russian straight. And it was uncontrollable rape. Kaczynski actually got entertained with that. And I believe it was Kaczynski. Because Kaczynski brothers had entire power in Poland. Just like Donald Trump had uh, in the U.S. Behind the curtain. Donald Trump did not have entire power behind uh, in the U.S. But he was involved with the business people. And they kind of selected him to lead a business delegation this is information he's going to be grateful to me for but unfortunately for him it's all too late uh, of business people and even create them out of nothing like he did Bezos, Zuckerberg Musk and many others uh, say what they would serve interest of the US government and so what happened with the Kaczynski is that and I say this because I was taken across the border also for the beatings. I was taken like, you would put me like in a cab and just take me. A border did not actually exist. I mean, what kind of border? I mean, you just, right now you're here, you, they get you in a car and you, boom. And you're across the border. You're already in the Belarus and so on. You got no control over anything there. Ukraine was more controlled than Poland, way more controlled. If I went to Ukraine, eventually I did not end up in Russia. 
it's only in one particular occasion that I did and that's a gentleman here who is actually Russian and I know Russian um, border I don't see a border patrol but people that border guards that would actually eventually take me through Ukrainian border all the way to Russia although I was in Russia on a million occasions okay but otherwise when it comes to Ukraine that did not happen I cannot account for that but when it comes to Poland it seems like there was no border between the Belarus and between the Russia all this stuff is completely meaningless right now to you because it's the information that does not explain more uh, than what I'm gonna say Kaczynski is but Kaczynski is more than this Kaczynski Andrzej Duda Morawiecki are way 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 more than this they are more than this they want money the corruption was in their primary interest already from completely completely early uh, stages beginnings this is still about the war for Kasia and gradually I will get to the job uh, I, just as I promised because this is really so 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 related they were ambitious stealing public money taxpayers money so there was no other way other than for them to get connected with Americans basically with the West get the money from Germans from British from whoever they possibly they could get any kind of money would be more than welcome but still determined to uh, basically retain the power for the Russians and well while I completely disagree it would be for the Russians um, I disagree because this is Poland and should be for the Polish people foremost foremost for the Poland for the Polish people for the people who come here to claim their basic freedoms um, for the people whom Poland want to protect and that of course includes the Russian people we are closer to the Russians not like Valenza only stated which is completely correct like closer to the Moscow um, than to Washington if you compare the distance but also because of our origins because of our Slavic origins so of course it's no wonder that when it comes to World War II when it comes to the history of Poland one would actually not even exist today without Russia that naturally this would be one of the allies all Slavic people uh, would look forward to deal with because it's also the biggest country it's completely natural versus someone who was trying basically to wipe them out and you can pretty much see today the deep state American deep state does not differ from the one prior to the second world war when you had Bush family let's say when you had people Nazi families uh, basically not seeing not hearing anything about what went on on this side of the world until it became completely too late and eventually people had to take control over otherwise we would be in a Nazi world today and it's the same the same applying applies to the Buckingham Palace the same applies to the Britain and you see Kaczynski I'm sure I'm certain that he is grateful for that too because this is what he believes and unfortunately a lot of people because it's it's this political party law and justice party that advertises everywhere in the newspaper everywhere in the media um, work in Germany work now also work in the US except here so what they are doing is they are shipping people across the border and on a fast track what they do is they teach them German language they teach them German logic German mentality they basically teach them to serve Germany it's not seldom here to encounter ads that uh, you have uh, Swedish speaking men and stuff like this uh, or even uh, offering services to the Swedish chat companies and stuff like this right here in Poland for less than what they pay in Sweden and stuff like this this is, this is completely common it's completely broken distorted uh, 
cracked society, crippled society, and it's pulling all the ways you possibly can imagine. And in this chaos, believe it or not, as insane as it sounds, even if you go to postal office services, you're going to see that shit remark known as Family 500 that basically give you, uh, I don't know, 13 pension and 13 pay and some 500 extra zloty, something like this for the child or something like this that Kaczynski is using for promoting basically inflation in the country because somebody had to pay for all this and this just happened to be a Polish taxpayers. The mentality is completely crap. People believe more in a foreign uh, doing business with the foreigners than in themselves. It's something that Slovenia would not even exist if this would be the mentality we would take. And we have our four times higher standard financial economy than, than what Poles have in Poland. So it's like it's like a country in a complete, complete chaos, I would say. I believe that it was Russians who did this stuff all the way up to year 2005. But after 2005, 2006, I believe it was no thing else than American schizophrenia, schizophrenia that started to run Poland. And what they would do is, they started to paranoid people uh, based on using whatever happened uh, in the past. They started to blame Russia basically for everything. And it was Russia, not even Putin. If you pay attention to it, you don't hear anything about, you barely hear about Putin. You hear more about the Russia, 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 Russia. It's always Russia, 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 guilty, Russia, Russia. Everything is a Russia. Uh, but when it comes to Putin, nobody really touches Putin because they count on Putin basically to be their clown, to be their, uh, to be their servant. So it's actually Putin against Russia. Uh, Russia is guilty for everything. Mr. Putin is guilty for really nothing. This is the type of politics we have from the West. So it's, it's a division, it's a break of entire Slavic society. That, that's why I exploded the other day and I have written down on, a, on my new side blogger to shut up with this American schizophrenia shit because it's not doing anything good. It didn't do any good for the Ukraine. Ukraine lost Crimea. Ukraine is in war over there in Donetsk. They, lo they lost at Donetsk. Ukraine is destituted, economically ruined, hungry, starved. Poland is in total chaos. Poland is like, does not know. You don't know who, who's going to whack you, really. Who is the one whacking you in this country? But I can tell you, this goes to Warsaw. It goes to Kaczynski. It goes to Duda. It goes to Morawiecki, who have replaced almost all the judges already in Poland, which means it's completely authoritarian system they are preparing. It's a corruption. Morawiecki is involved in corruption, was already involved in very beginnings. Never married. I have no idea where his children are. Pervert Kaczynski is a multimillionaire. And you have Andrzej Duda, who believe his daughter is going to marry American billionaire at expense of the Polish taxpayers who paid for the planes known as F-35. This is the world for Kasia. You wanted the truth, so I am going to give you a piece of the truth. I'm going to give you the whole truth and nothing else but truth. Because you know why? Because I do feel for the Kasia. Because I'm a sensitive person. And not only for the Kasia. I feel for every Paul. Because I feel that... When it comes to the girl like Kasia, I believe that eventually that she was his girl, that she eventually existed. That ball is not just a fiction. I believe it's a real thing. And I regret, even though I was tortured, I regret to respond in the way I did. I regret being the way I was. And I am committed strongly to changing uh, including my own personality in a way uh, that would not really pertain my, um, if you want, the security war in the past. But it's wrong. Uh, 
our words, our actions touch people deeper than what we think, even in, in a situation like this. And really, nobody's more sensitive to these issues than women are. I just want to go back to this job. What you're going to hear, um, let me just finish with, with what went on with the burglary. Owner knew nothing about burglary. Nobody knew nothing about burglary. If I wanted to find out about the burglary, all I would have to do is get the police, get maybe not even the police would know, but get the neighbors, get people around that would know something unless they were told to shut the room and respect to that stuff. The picture that you would have, what I was told, was not even her child. This child is very, very unlikely what the case would be. Uh, how many of you would you want to have a picture of your child that is not yours inside of your office, let's say? Question here applies whether the gentleman has a children and how old those children are, if so which would mean that he, in fact, did switch the picture um, of his own children with a picture of, I don't know, what children that they try to advertise to me uh, through that. Because this, this picture, this stuff, this is what was used to, since everything I have revealed about the company, uh, the length of the employees, even the old location I have pointed out, uh, which is like really extraordinary. Uh, this picture, this was used to stop me from, uh, you can hear the coughing, you can hear all that. Oh man, whatever I go on the street, whatever the hell I do is like, <coughs> uh, more people know me than what I would think. But that's okay, that's drop me a cheers. Either way, um, I want to thank owner. I want to thank all the owners. I want to thank the gentleman who was deeply afraid that that's the owner that I have recorded, also who have his business that all these people were afraid for me to say anything about that you would mention Russia. They, they, it's like complete, the people completely frozen, afraid. It's a total paranoia running in Poland in respect to Russia. And KGB is everywhere. KGB, 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 KGB. It's bullshit. A lot of this KGB stuff, it's American related. Today, you don't even know the difference between the KGB and between Central Intelligence Agency, because you have the KGB individual, his wife from Slovenia, same age like I am, by the name Melania Knaus, Trump now, from the same city, same age, came to propose me, came with a marital proposition in 95, 96 in my store in Miami downtown, to go with her to Slovenia, whose father is a KGB, is a Udba, with a thick file individual. So you have one in the White House. So it's really difficult for you to know uh, really where, which side the bullet is coming from. And then you have also people inside of the bar show whom you can trust. In my personal opinion, you already were able to see what went on throughout the entire period with war over there in, 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 Poland, in, in Ukraine. Yeah, I think you can close, you can trust them as soon as they open their mouths that they lie to you. This is pretty much what I believe you can trust them. I think that everything they open their mouths, I think there is nothing else, there is nothing other than lie that's coming out of those mouths. Uh, war for Kasia was related to Andrzej Duda. Andrzej Duda was the one who also insisted that they are insulted. Imagine this shit. Individual president of the Poland tortured me, whose wife, in fact, I have even courted. I wanted to date her because I didn't know shit on the MKUltra. They teased me with her too. 
uh, that I insulted her that 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 uh, I don't know that she's ugly and I don't know what kind of stuff. Um, all kinds of stuff went on, and so. You're gonna hear you're gonna hear like boom, 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 like heavy objects falling the floor. Those are most of the time those are the cables I carry around. because uh, this is what I was designated to move cables basically back and forth. That was already the job. I already knew the job is gonna be waiting on me when I'm gonna come. The job was already prepared ahead. It was portion they had the shells they had to assemble together the like big 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 shells where you store the cables picture you're gonna see you saw it um, and old ones removed new ones assembled and I did pretty much that with another individual so it was bumping twisting and carrying heavy cables just waiting on me to be done even a trash can was not cleaned up already for a really long time not exactly what a peter suggested that uh is waiting for me to come come on man where are you coming so we can have this done because we are tired of this trash being here these are the sweetest of the sweet people the people alone are people you would want to kiss them a butt in my opinion these are the people that went extra mile, that when they would do, I think, anything possible to, to help me out. In my opinion, this is the way it is. This is the way I see it. They were nothing more than happy when I asked questions and I triggered the correct answers. And they're not alone in that area. There is a whole other bunch of other people, businesses. I have worked also just over a short period at this hotel. Uh, when subjected to MK Ultra, then there is a warehouse owner. Uh, we spent a little time over there too. And then there were a few other locations, but not as much anywhere even near as this one here. Another location that I was at is the factory where I supposedly would get the first job here. And already at this hostel this is the company that worked with this hostel already very very long time they would hire ukrainian people send them to the certain locations um they have referred me to a particular company where i would go to work and this and that and this supposedly would be like the first company i was there i have recognized the people even security officer it's also the people that got the money through the West. Unfortunately, this is the way it happened. This was the beginning for the Poland, but I hope this is going to change. I hope eventually a real Poland is going to come out of all this. You know, real Polska. This is what I keep my fingers crossed. Um, it's what I hope for the best for these people here. I hope they find peace. And there is no peace like peace when you, you know, you have control over your own internal affairs. And you know who is doing what to you, who is what is. It goes likewise for Ukraine. Countries are in distress. Uh, everybody sees Ukraine, but there's a lot of stuff happening in Poland too that people are not aware of. This is why. Um, what else? You can see the flag. And under that flag, they try to intimidate me, just as ordered by the Warsaw. Warsaw had interest. They demanded certain things to be implemented against me. Try to push me against the wall to, for me to see myself like a German and this and that. It's all kinds of stuff involved. And why Poland? Why not over there in Germany? Or why not, I, I don't know where, and this and that, and Slovenia, and this, and all kinds of stuff like this you're gonna hear if you understand polish if not then maybe some other time i will eventually one day get chance stated for you that kind of stuff if if if, if i get some requests or something like that whatever uh, but this is for the purpose of investigators yes everybody everybody including the customers were recognized 
even the girl Peter, my boss, uh, immediate boss, begun to date. I don't know. So nothing to that. There is another hotel and so on and so forth. Too many, many things. The whole lodge. Nothing but recognized factual stuff. MK Archa stuff. Uh, coming next, audio recordings about this place of employment. I just want to thank again everyone at this place. I was in a bad mood because I like money too. I like good things. I like normal food. A car is still parked over there in the lot. I don't even know what's going to come out of this. This is so insane that you would not even have thoughts gathered to go and pay your taxes and file tax return and do your shit and stuff like this. Like completely basic stuff. Uh, you know, totally, totally disturbed, disturbed, disturbed stuff. Uh, talk to me about the company that set me up how I would sell oil and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Bizarre. Coming next, audio recordings in Polish. Probably, I have no idea. Um, 20, 30 hours, maybe something like this. One more detail, very, very important detail for me uh, to declare. Maybe one of the most important, if not the most important detail. The business owners uh, and it concerns the one right here, and it concerns the company Legs over there in Zgirsh and Alexandro Lochki. Both, and I noticed this, especially because of this owner here, they look for the location which I have identified as that we were, that's an old building that's supposed to be there. Uh, you're gonna hear this, there's a building that's supposed to be there. Uh, and I ask also about this building, as I have explained, and the owner just can't ask and, and quick goes and tells me, yeah, this is where we were located. This is where our old showroom was. I'm going to tell you something. It was the same thing with, with employees that were like eager to help out. Eager, eager to help out. But they just had to play their bad, you know, bad role in this, whether they like it or not. Look, the gentleman from Alexandro Lochki, the owner whom I know, his daughter, his wife, he came, they came up even with the ad, they posted online, they are looking for somebody to offer a job who speaks Spanish and English and stuff like this for their markets outside of the Poland and stuff like this, just as they have promised they would. I read that on the paper and I was too much, I was insulted. It's kind of a good, no, actually, you know, you know that people try to help you out, but it's so much stuff that piles up that it's, it's, this was a lot of stuff that, that start to make you really uncertain about everything. And you come at certain point in time, you come to conclusion that it's all good, it's all good, but that much stuff like this, it's called an overload. Look, individual who subjected me, who counted, who wanted this stuff to happen, I'm going to tell you who wanted this to happen. Donald Trump, Andre Duda did. Trump did because he believed that I'm going to write him like biography on the business here in Eastern Europe, what he contributed to, to the US, to the trade and this and that important person. This is a fucking nobody. He was a five billion dollars in minus when he met. That's how he got married to Melania and then the British crown helped him out, climbed out through connections from his situation he was in. It's a, it's a complete loser. This is one of the things. The second thing is, Andrzej Duda created his own version of on how I should see things as, and this pertains also to this wall of Kasha, which, however, on me did make an extremely important 
uh, impression on us. There was this girl in this company whom I did insult. Her. And I, in other words, I, I was, I deemed that, you know, I rejected and because I rejected her, Americans follow up with really, really nasty rejections and the whole thing turned nasty against me. And when I saw this war here, not too far, it's written war of Akashia, it's, it really hurt me, it really hit me badly. Not even because of the, what people came and pointed at me that I'm guilty that's happened to someone and this and that, but because of completely other issues. It's a very, very heavy anti-Ultra case, this case. But Andrzej Duda conditioned, he came up with the idea and said, for every stage, for every level, and he said, it's questionable if you're going to even accomplish all the stages so your anti-Ultra case can get recognized. One of the stages actually requires you to break spine. This was the job of this work in Zgirsh where I was at. So that means that this Andre Duda, this these politicians, they are so rotten, they, they play so filthy this whole thing that they actually conditioned recognition. Excuse me, Donald Trump believed that he's gonna recognize me. The criminal actually believed that he's gonna recognize me. No, he blundered something about a son that he does not recognize him, that he does not recognize this one, he does not recognize that, that one, and I don't know what, but that he's going to say, if I do everything, that yes, I recognize him. Donald Trump is like this too. Donald Trump is a piece of shit. And Andre Duda believed that rather through admission you know, if you admit you committed crime, I will be recognized as somebody who have undergone such ordeal. Basically, I would be awarded, basically, for being a fucking slave, less than a slave. Black people were slaves in this plantains. I was more than business slave. I was more, I was used for the pleasure or the most sadistic torture you possibly can imagine you can do to the person. 25 years of life like this, I have lost and eventually was diagnosed as mentally ill sick person and had begged for the sanity literally in the streets of foreign country that I never would have gone to, never would imagine, would want to have anything to do with of which language I did not even speak anything. It's called Poland, basically. This is what actually it comes to when it comes to war for Kasia. They, not too long ago here, actually anticipated that I'm going to start seeing myself that, like, accusing myself of doing stuff actually is gonna save my ass, save my life. This is what I was told. This kind of stuff basically. So now the people that get tortured, that get in this kind of, that government does with this kind of situation, they should be accusing themselves of crime against other people, basically people that government does. So this is how far we have gone with this anti ultra case. This is what this is this is what this have come to. Oh, it, uh, last night we had at one o'clock. We have all the time this going on. Um, this is for the Poland. This is foremost for me personally, uh, for our women. And for the humanity, if it's not for the fallen to understand these words, then it's for the humanity understanding that we have to do better. That eventually it comes to the point that even when you are subjected to anti-ultra, that conscience, in fact, you should use 
uh, in direction that would not hurt other people. As bad as it may sound, it's true. And when you do that stuff, they even find a logic behind which you are hiding to actually do that kind of stuff to hurt more. But you have to do it anyway. Sorry, I did not even finish uh, this video properly. Um, I have explained what the situation is with the Poland, what the situation is with Ukraine. Uh, believe me, there is war brewing against Russia. And the worst part about it is this isn't going to benefit not Ukraine, not Poland, and even less Russia. Uh, if we instead, as a Slavic people, would demonstrated with one another a solidarity, something that Putin made fun out of, something that Putin wanted to use, in my case, uh, for me to, like, laugh at uh, Lech Valenza for this stuff. It was the idea to, his idea to create resentment in me through the injury, through the spine injury, uh, and connect that to the solidarity, just like had his newspaper outlet, Russia Today, publish news from this British neo-Nazi uh, in respect to the feminist kiss and stuff like this. Um, if we had a solidarity with one another, if we demonstrated a solidarity, a unity, a Slavic unity that we talk about, but it's not visible anywhere, they would not treat us like this. They would not see us the way they see us. Right now, what they see in us is actually a potential uh, for division, if not even for the greater conflict between one another. Whether that war is going to be a war like with the tanks or it's going to be a war which they com contemplated heavily on, uh, or it will be growing into economical conflict, it's not going to be good. Uh, of course not for the Russia and even less for the same, not for Poland and not for Ukraine. If the Russia gets down, the next one definitely is going to be Poland and Ukraine. And it goes vice versa. And this is what Mr. Putin, who knew what he committed, that he committed a, a crime, economical war crime is what he created. Trading war in Ukraine for the sake of his banking accounts. He knows this. He alone stated it will be good. It's good. I don't know how long it's going to be, but as long as it's going to be, it's going to be really good. Whatever it comes to, it comes to. And this is the politic that Moscow today is actually harboring. So that's all I got to say. Again, today is February the 16th of 2020. God bless you all. Uh, and let's hope for something that we would be able to demonstrate to the world so that the world would take us a little more serious than what the case is. They are not going to recognize us if we're not going to recognize one another first. This is just the way it is.
Zapraszam, to pójdziemy na magazyn.
wojskowe, nie? Pan ma na imię? Sebastian. Pan mówi komunikatywnie po polsku, tak, że można się z Panem dogadać. Widzimy nie każdy wiedzę, Pan ma bardzo dużą w różnych miejscach pracował, że tak powiem. Robimy taki dwutygodniowy okres trudny. Pan, od kiedy pan może zacząć, jak to wygląda? Od zaraz. Od jutra, powiedzmy. Od jutra, okej. Okay. Na którą chcesz, żeby pan chciał popracować? Zawsze jakoś nie ósma, dziewiąta. Ósma, dziewiąta. Ósma, dziewiąta. Ładnie. Okej, o ósmej zapraszamy po prostu. Proszę przejść wtedy dokumenty pan dostarczy tutaj do Cieszkowi, przekaże pan dane, bo musimy przygotować umowę, to pewnie to pójdzie do księgowości, księgowość przyszła umowę pod koniec dnia, to przez pana będzie mowa i rozpoczyna pan pracę od jutra. Fajnie, bardzo dziękuję wam proszę. Dziękuję bardzo. Okej, okay, to jesteśmy umówieni jutro o 8 i zapraszam. Dziękuję. Dziękuję, do widzenia. Do widzenia.
Co będzie to własne, co będzie mógł zrobić. Jest osma, jestem tu. A... No to ja mogę do księgowej się... zaprowadzić. Wyjść coś zaprowadzić? No księgowa, no. No zrobię na to, proszę. Dziękuję bardzo. 